welcome back to my channel here's me in my udi i've lost or will over christmas i literally look like this every day this cereal from sainsbury's tastes like the um multi-green shapes that I used to get as a child mixed with like cocoa pops it's really good i didn't catch that could you try so i thought i'd do like a mini spend the day with me because i haven't really done any like christmas house content and I wanted to share with you my living room just so I can look back on it and be like, oh, that's what my living room looked like on my first Christmas in my home. So it's actually 10 to 11 right now. I've been up since eight. I feel like I'm eating that much over Christmas. Like I don't really feel as hungry. It's weird. But last night we had the biggest roast dinner. I'll try and insert a picture. From Aldi, we bought like them stuffing bums that have cheese inside. But the cheese fell out in the oven so that was a bit of a flop that was still really nice and the audi massive like yorkshire puddings with the massive pig and blanket within it it was really nice but we had to take the pig and blanket out because it cooked at the wrong time but anyway the reason i told you that is because that is what i actually had for lunch today because i could not finish it so i've got a lovely little festive dinner for lunch today i'm absolutely loving how Christmassy the house is though. The living room is gonna look so bare without all of these stupid decorations that we've bought. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this and my coffee and then I will probably do the house tour next, so. Okay, we will start in the kitchen. We don't really have many Christmassy things in the kitchen, but I'll show you what I've got anyway. You probably noticed this, um, excuse the state of the wall, whatever, old owners, not my fault. Um, he's from Matalan. Is he a serving board or chopping board? I don't know, but he's there to hide the plugs. And yeah, you see him when you walk in the kitchen, so cute. These were in the um, wash washing machine, so they need washing. I just thought I'd show you these from Primark. Little tea towels. Look at this one. It's got Santa's legs on it. I mean, it's probably like a bit OTT into getting Christmas tea towels, but we also have a festive washing things this is from sainsbury's the washing up liquid spiced plum and pomegranate um this is really liquidy so i won't be buying sainsbury's washing up liquid again um but i wanted it christmasy so that's why i did actually buy it this on the other hand from tk max this um hand soap oh my god it smells amazing i can't like put my finger on what it is but um i will be i mean they probably are have i still got the price tag four pounds so they are more expensive than usual ones but i mean the packaging is so nice and honestly like the smell stays on your hands for so long so i will be hopefully be do like other sense in this in tk max because i will be going back and getting another one after christmas so this is what you see when you come into the room there's your little quick pan over and I am actually going to go into detail of everything and um, just in case you want to know where certain things are from um, because I hate it when people do videos and never give the deets so I'm going to give you every single deet. I'm actually going to start with my least favourite part of the living room which is the table. The old owners left us this table so we are just making do for now until we can get a proper one just because there are more important things that need doing to the house than just replacing a table that we already have. So first of all, this runner is actually from Timu. Um, I did order a few little bits and bobs just to trial the website out. You know what? I don't even know if it's straight. Um, we're just rolling with it because it could be wonky. Um, I do quite like the runner. Wish it was a little bit wider, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. It was literally like three pound. I've added the crackers here just for the effects of the whole video. These crackers are from Audi, which Alex actually kindly picked up when he was out. These were already here. Um, these are just little face masks from Ikea. Mum's gave me this bowl to put the, how do you say it? Potpourri? Potpourri? No, it's po potpourri. Potpourri. I don't know, the smelly stuff, I like to just ignore this corner of the living room. Just down here, we have our advent calendars. My mum kindly 
got us these. That one's mine, that one's Alex's. Like, and the gingerbread burner. I bought him last year. It's actually her because it's pink um, from Asda. This is where I sit all friggin' day. Um, we had people around at the weekend. I still haven't managed to move the cushions around and bounce them back up. So you can tell who sat where. Do you know what I mean? This little guy is from B&M. The moose fro is from TK Maxx. Um, my mum bought me that, so thanks mum. Goes with the, oh as you can tell by the way, we are going for the green aesthetic. Down here, I usually just set like a little scene out for the season. Didn't have a clue what to do with it. These two trees I got from Timu. This candle though, is from Next. And I just think, how stunning is that? I'm definitely not burning him, but um, yeah, I love the lid. And it goes perfectly with the theme of the living room. That coaster my friend got me last year, so I'm not entirely sure where that's from. I do apologize. So on the first windowsill, we just have this Christmas tree that has been in the background of quite a few of my videos. He was from the garden center a few years ago now. And um, he's got a Santa hat on because I didn't know where to put the Santa hat. I was actually on one of my burgers when we went to York. I thought, I'm taking that. My mum called this pathetic and I think that was really rude. Um, I think he's cute. This is a little coaster we got from a Christmas market store. And this is from a garden centre. Um, I've had that a couple of years as well. This might just be my favourite Christmas decoration. Please don't judge me. I just think he's so cute. That's what we've done. Focus. That's what we've done with the windowsill. Wee little candle. This is from Asda, Asda George. I bought this a few months ago. It's got little oranges and gingerbread in it. And he's for show. I'm not burning you. I've got two Christmas cards over here. One from Alex's nephew and the other from Alex's grandma and granddad um, and then Santa he's from Primark I guess I'll show you what you've probably been waiting for so no judgments please this is definitely not a perfect tree um but you know I've never decorated a tree in my life so please don't judge because it's obviously not going to be perfect um but yeah I think she's cute. So you have a few presents that I've wrapped already, a few that we've received. I'm sure you don't care. I'm going to just show you the baubles that actually mean something. The green ones that look like this were in my homeware shorts video. So yeah, if you watch that, you'll know they're from the range. The ribbon looks a bit silly, I feel like, but it fills in a bit of the gaps that we have. Oh, by the way, this tree was from Asda. £100, seven foot pre-lit tree. I think was a bargain. It is a very full tree, if I do say so myself. Uh, we'll start here. This is so cute. York Christmas Market, they had the cutest baubles and they were so cheap as well. Um, I think he was like three pounds something. I just love him, he's precious. Um, b and bargain. Oh God. So from this pan, I don't know if you'll be able to see, can you see what Alex wanted to put on the tree? This friggin thing does not match the aesthetic of the tree harry potter's bloody wand from york whatever and um, we got this from york when we went in august looking is there anything else to show you that's interesting these from b&m so nice um oh alex's mum made us this ball ball how cute is that i picked up some of these from the garden center to also fill some of the gaps uh, um, um. He's from B&M. Little guy. Got to have a gingerbread man on there, obviously. Um, my mum bought us this. First Christmas in a new home. Oh, these I got from York um, in the museum. They're um, half glass and half velvet. Honestly, they're so nice. At night, like, the light kind of shines through them. That is our tree of 2023. I think she's cute. Next year we will be adding more lights to it um, just because it is a little bit dull but for our first tree I'm not that mad. You know? Let me know what you think. I also really like the dark green. I feel like it's different. Like I don't know anyone who's got a dark green and gold tree. We continue. Wax burner is from Asda two years ago but I'm sure they do sell these still so there you go. This is from York. 
a little light up wooden house. I weren't sure where to put it. The stars reflect on the back when it's dark. So nice. This little garland here, Alex bought from Aldi. Bless him, making his own little input. Wish it had a green bow, but you know. Um, and then we've added the fairy lights on it. It looks a bit crap right now, but it looks nice when it's dark. Now, before I pressed film, I had to move all of these back to where they was before because the bloody dog yesterday was snooting every single thing on the TV cabinet. Poor little Sean the Sheep down here was in the corner on his back. Poor guy. But anyway, he's, he's back to his usual self. This gunk, I got hit. Oh, sorry, I've just banged his head. He is from the garden centre. Honestly, the cutest things come from the garden centre. Story to tell behind Mr. Sheep here. He was in York on one of the Christmas stands and I just thought he was cute. And I said to Alex, oh, we can't buy that. That's like, that's ridiculous. And then by the end, we felt a bit guilty because we've seen him again. So we bought him. Um, and you know what? He adds a bit of character into the living room. I really love him. He's like the one from Sean the Sheep, the big fat one. Um, and then this is actually a ball ball, but I thought it'd look cute on the TV stand. That is from the garden center. I feel like Zoella used to have one of these every year, the advent candles. And I'm enjoying having one. I'm definitely gonna make it a tradition to get one every year. Um, have I overburnt and underburnt? Yes, I have. So this is the ladder shelf. As you can tell, I've decorated it for the season. It's gonna look ridiculously bare when it comes to January. This is from the garden center. The little gingerbread bauble is from York. Um, if you go into the Christmas shop, you can get it personalized. Um, that little tree is from the pound shop. The little tree lights up, but when I thought, you know, when it says light up, I thought it'd be really nice, warm lights. It's actually disco-fied. So yeah, don't fancy that. So she stays off. This is from Next, £20, which might be a bit steep, but honestly, it's so nice. Um, such a good quality little gonk. Um, on here, we have probably the most colour we've got. Um, so this was last year from TK Maxx. I'll just show you a close-up because this has dogs all over it. Cute. They're the Elf Pop finals. That's my childish part of the living room. And I've made the little gingerbread man here a little scene. Um, he's got his own house and a Christmas tree. We got these baubles from a little independent shop last year from Scarborough. I thought it'd just look nice on the shelf to add a bit of something in that corner. My Christmas cactus, right? I bought this from the garden centre a few weeks ago and it's dying on me. I thought they're supposed to sprout at Christmas, it's not die. Um, so yeah, I've put him away from the radiator. That is why I've moved him onto the ladder shelf hoping that you know i don't know i just don't want him to die i'll be really sad and then on the bottom shelf we have this really nice christmas tree and um, sorry to break it to you but this was actually a gift and it was from italy um, so sorry i don't think you'll be able to get that but yeah that's really cute and definitely makes the ladder shelf and that reindeer i've had for absolute years don't have a clue where it's from let me know your favorite part of the room um Mine would probably be, obviously, the tree. Obviously, it's got to be the tree. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little tour. I will take you upstairs now. My socks have bells on. Oh, these um, three evolutions, it's not actually on right now, but um, I'm going to switch them on. It's a frosted pine, I think it is. It's the green one, the Christmas one. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I don't want it to ever finish. My bloody plant is dying on me. Not a fan of this windowsill, but you know, uh, we've got reindeer, not really a fan, but we have got this really nice little candle. That is the only addition. So the garland I got from, I think it's called UK Christmas World. Uh, I did notice that a lot from the range are quite expensive and we've got a three storey, so, you know, it would cost a lot. It was a last minute decision. It doesn't look, you know, it's not the best looking garland you've probably ever seen in your life, but, it will, it will do. Um, so this probably cost us about £15 to add our own lights and our own snow on it, just to make it a bit more festive. But yeah. And here is the bedroom. I mean, literally this bed couldn't get any more garish and definitely the least aesthetic 
bedding you could probably get Christmas wise but you know we've gone all out I did actually buy this last year for when I lived at my mum's so yeah but it is actually reversible so I said to Alex we could have it on the white side but you know he wanted to go full out with red not mad to be fair it's a very comfy bed set um so yeah i did actually get this from asda last year the only other additions we have in the bedroom are this little gonk that alex got from audi um i mean he's really cute in it like how fluffy is he i don't have a clue what plant it is i don't know how often i'm supposed to water it so we're just winging it with him but he's so cute and the Grinch, I mean, you've probably seen him in the background of my old Christmas videos. I can't part with this guy, he's too cute. So um, yeah, they are the only additions that we have in the bedroom. Sorry, this is disgusting, but I'm actually just laughing at myself. Like, look at the state of this dinner. <laughs> I thought this would be acceptable to eat for lunch. I'm gonna add some gravy. I think it'll be okay. I mean, it is going to be nice, but I, I just think it's funny. Like, it literally looks disgusting. I'm not going to lie, that was actually so nice. Is it just me or I feel like Sunday dinners the day after are always, like, so much more tasty? Delicious. I really hope you can see me and hear me from here. thought I'd do some Christmas wrapping. Now, don't judge my wrapping skills. I don't know how much you can see, but I'm a messy wrapper first present will look neat and then this is like a cheaper sellotape so the amount of times I've lost the end of this gets me angry. I thought I would continue the wrapping whilst we have a little chat. As you know like we're ending the near of 2023 you know you do start to do a bit of reflecting and I've had the weirdest year ever like i've done some reflecting and you know what i'm gonna talk about me for a bit i'm good at that how the hell did i buy a house i never thought i have always been saving for a house for quite a few years um and then when i met alex me and alex started saving properly for a house but still like we wouldn't save that much a month because as you'll probably be able to see we've still gone on our first share of holidays um since covid we've ticked off a lot of places um, and then we have settled down. I think we viewed the house in Feb. I was going to Thailand in March. We had viewed only one other house. Um, and then I never thought with our first house that instantly we'd be like, this is the one. Um, so yeah, I feel like we've done really well for ourselves to be fair. If you are thinking of moving out next year or whenever, do it into a plan. If you go before the plan, but you've still got your deposit, then fine whatever you think it's meant to be to be honest it's been like a mini renovation it was never meant to be kind of viewed the house and knew straight away that we wanted it so we looked past or shall we say never noticed the issues that we'd been met with when we moved out so that's another good reason you do need a chunk of money behind you because whatever you see in that house even if you do see some issues trust me there'll be a lot more there weren't major issues to be honest it was all fixable, but it was a good job we had the money behind us and we weren't just living month to month on the mortgage. That's your room. That's what you're going to learn from today's video. If you are thinking of moving out next year, I think in the new year, I'm going to make some videos on, like, I'll do a Q&A on probably Thailand and moving out, just because I do like watching the videos for the bad things in 2023. One of quite a few. Um, I have fell off the gym and eaten. I'm a bit ashamed to say it, but I have, I really have. It stresses me out, it consumes a lot of my thoughts and I've turned into a lazy girl. I don't know what is wrong with me. I get up 20 minutes before I start work. I never used to do that. I do have to wake up at six when I'm in the office and that is a killer, that is an absolute killer. But like, this is a mess, this present is a mess. Yeah, when I used to work from home, I used to wake up at like half six and go to the gym. Why can't I do that anymore? I quit the gym because it was a while away from me now. But that threw me off because I hate 
this is something else I hate about myself. I don't know what it is, I can't get used to new gyms. So I was at Pure Gym for a very long time and I was consistent for a very long time. My eating was not, but I was. I, I went to the gym like at least three times a week uh, for about five years straight. This loose house, can't go home. My goals, moving in swiftly on, my goals for 2024 will be to get my ass back in gear with the gym. I just hate that I fell off it so much. It's so much easier to stay on track once you're in that routine. Getting back on the routine, I've failed about 50 times this year. So that's my brand and that's my aim for 2024, getting back into fitness and I do want to say eating but snacking. Stop snacking, please Amy, just you don't need the snacks. Other goals are to get the rest of the things done in the house. But apart from that, I feel like I'm not really setting myself that many goals for next year. I feel like some of them are just pointless. Like you make them and you know you're not gonna do it. Let me know one of your goals for 2024. And also let me know one thing you're proud of yourself for doing in 2023. And if 2023 wasn't your year, that really doesn't matter. My last year was not my year, um, to say the least. Yeah, 2024, I've already got some exciting plans. I've already got three holidays planned. So hoping they all go through and we've got a good year ahead. So yeah, that concludes the wrapping sesh. I hope you enjoyed that huge rant. 